Welcome to Imagine Your Story, Art Edition, part of the summer reading program here at Lee County Libraries. If you haven't already registered for summer reading, please visit our website or call the library directly for more information. I'm here in my workshop with my elves, and we are busy making flip-flops for the last shipment of the summer. So today, I'm going to show you how to make your own flip-flops out of just duct tape. So if you're interested, stay tuned. To get started making our duct tape flip-flops, you need to first grab a pair of flip-flops in your cardboard. Then you're going to trace your flip-flop onto your cardboard. Once you have finished tracing your flip-flop onto your cardboard, you now need to cut it out. Now that I have both feet cut out, I'm now going to cover each foot with duct tape. You just pull and we're going to start on the top and fold it over so you can hide the seams in the box. And you'll continue doing this for both feet. Now our flip-flops are completely covered with duct tape. Next, we need to make the hole for our strap for our flip-flops. So you can do it in two ways. One way you can guesstimate where your hole will be between your big toe and your other toe. Or if you're like me, I'm a stickler. I like to be a little exact, so I'm going to use my ruler. So, what I did was I flipped my flip flop over and I measured from the inside, and this gives me one and a half. I measured from, from the outside of my shoe, and that gave me two and one half. And then I measured from the top to the hole, and it gave me one and three fourths. Now I'm going to take those measurements to my flip flop. So for example, from the inside of my foot, it's one and a half inches to the hole, the middle of the hole. So I make a, a dot and then from the outside of my foot, it was two and a half inches. So I make a dot and from the top of my foot, it was one and three fourths inches. So then wherever the dot is, the dots are, I can put an X. And that's where I will poke my hole. You may need a parent or a guardian to help you poke the hole so you don't cut yourself. So you're just gonna take your knife, not your knife, we take your scissors or an exacto knife and we're gonna punch a hole through our X. Do the same thing on the other foot. Maybe a little tricky, so this is why you need an adult supervision. If you wiggle it, it seems to let the scissors seem to go a little bit easier through the cardboard. Then once you get that first, you can just twist it around. And there we have our holes. Next, we need to make the straps 
for our flip flops. You can grab any color you like. You're gonna take your duct tape and you're gonna pull a long strip. So we're gonna pull a long strip of duct tape and we're gonna rip it. With the sticky side up, we're gonna fold it in half. And then we're gonna fold the other. So now we have some duct tape fabric. Once you have full for one strap, we're gonna do the same thing for the other. Now we have our two strips for both of our flip flops. Now we're gonna take our duct tape fabric, take our flip flop, and we're gonna push the fabric through our hole with the two loose ends coming through the hole. And if you need to adjust your hole, just grab your scissors and adjust and try again. And then we'll do the same thing on the other shoe. You now want to adjust the strap around your foot to see where it fits. I'm going to use my Sharpie and make a mark so I know exactly where it fits. Once you have adjusted your straps, you want to secure them in the back with a piece of duct tape, remembering to keep them in the same position. Also, where we put the strap, you want to add a piece of duct tape to secure it. So you don't want to pull the strap, the fabric that we used for our strap, you don't want to pull it all the way through. You want to leave a little bit so you can tape it in the back. Next, we need to make a piece to hold the strap together so it doesn't come apart. So we're going to grab our duct tape, it's a couple of inches, we we'll rip it off, then we're going to rip it in half, and then we are going to fold it halfway. Leave in some sticky, and then we're gonna wrap it around where our toe would go. Toes, toes would go. And then repeat the same step on the other shoe. So fold it halfway. Leave in some sticky and then wrapping it around where the toes go. And there you go. Our final step is to flip your shoes 
over and we're gonna cover the bottom with duct, more duct tape. To make clean edges for our flip flops, you can either fold your duct tape up to the top or you can cut out the excess to make it clean. I'm gonna cut off the excess. And there you have it, our very own duct tape flip-flops. I hope you enjoyed today's craft and I hope to see you next time for Imagine Your Story Art Edition. Goodbye.